my people welcome welcome back to the news channel and this is afri's concept tv where you get the latest and the oldest news this is a news channel that keeps you updated on everything going on in the country if you are yet to subscribe to this channel make sure to do that now and if you are a new subscriber we say welcome to afri's concept tv sit back and relax because you are going to be getting everything that you are going to need to be updated on the happenings in the country and even outside the country and also if you are a returning subscriber i say welcome back to afri's concept tv and i'm sure you are you keep coming back because you get value from this channel let's go right to the headlines for today lamido sanusi People were stoning him, meaning that they are not happy with him. Aminu Dana Gudi said. And my people welcome once again to the news channel and this is the headlines for today. As Aminu Dana Gudi has come out to talk about Lamido Sanusi. Let's listen to the news in full. In a revealing interview with Arise TV, Aminu Baba Dana Gudi the Sakin Dawaki Baba of the Kano Emirate raised serious questions about the unusual circumstances surrounding the appointment of Emir Muhammadu Sanusi II. Danagudi highlighted the clandestine nature of Sanusi's installation, noting it occurred in the dead of night, which he argued was unprecedented in the Emirates' long history. Danangudi pointed out that this secretive installation at 2.30 a.m. marked a significant departure from over 200 years of tradition in Kano. Such an unusual procedure, he argued, indicates a deeper issue suggesting a lack of public support for the newly appointed Emir. The Sakin Dawaki Baba Further revealed the widespread disapproval of Emir Muhammadu Sanusi II's rule among the people. He cited the hostile reception Sanusi faced during his public appearances, describing scenes where people openly expressed their dissatisfaction by stoning him. Danangudi underscored the gravity of the public's discontent. By recalling the chaos that ensued immediately following Sanusi's appointment, he mentioned the riot that erupted in Kano, suggesting that the violence was a direct response to the controversial nature of Sanusi's selection. In his critique, Danangudi questioned the logic behind appointing an emir who clearly lacked popular support. He reiterated this point by asking why such an appointment would need to be carried out in secrecy if the chosen leader genuinely had the backing of the people. According to him, if you were watching the film, the procession, he was stoned. People were stoning him, meaning that they are not happy with him. And if you can recapitulate your memory, when they appointed Sanusi, there was a riot in Kano. Go back to your records. There was a riot in Kano. In fact, they have to move him with area talks to the palace and like we said if you appoint an emma that people like why did you appoint him and take him to the palace by 2 30 in the night it has never been done in the history of kano for over 200 years it has never been done and yes so my people this is the news aminu danagudi the sakin dawagi da baba of the kano emirate has come out to say that this um, um, Muhammad Sanusi was not liked by the people, that he was even stoned at some point. And yes, my people, that is the news for today. Make sure to like the video, comment, let us know what you think about this news. Let us know your, your mind regarding this news that you've just listened to because we are very interested in your feedback. And also, don't forget to subscribe. To this channel and also click on the notification bell so that youtube will notify you every time that we post up a new content look forward to seeing you again thank you